guys, what's up? Simply Sasha 4 and 4 here, and today I'm back with a new video. Like, every time y'all click on a new video, it's a new video. I don't know why I always have to say that. But yeah, today is going to be a relationship goals advice video. You. You. So, this is my boyfriend. His name is Mark. He has a channel. It'll be linked down below. Also, if you want, it'll be linked at the end of this video. So, we're going to go ahead and um, give you guys a little bit of a background story about us. Um, we have been dating for nine years. years. <laughs> we have been dating for nine years and we started dating when we were in 10th grade. Middle school. That's not middle school. He wanted to date in middle school. We didn't date in middle school. Um, we started dating in 10th grade, so I was, I was turning 16 that year and he was 17. And mm. so... What? <laughs> you know, Okay, so yeah, we've been dating for nine years and when we started dating we started out in a long-distance relationship Yes, I was living here. We live in Florida and then I moved to Georgia my 10th grade year And he asked me to be his girlfriend out of state So we started in a long-distance relationship and we were in a long-distance relationship for like how long? Like, mm -hmm. like three, three, four three four years And then I moved back to Florida and yeah, that's basically the history summed up in a nutshell so, yeah, today <laughs> we're gonna give you four tips on how to keep a good how to keep a good relationship. Okay, so if you're ready for the tips, then keep watching. All right, guys. So the number one thing, and everybody knows this is the number one thing, but this is the biggest thing in a relationship. The number one thing that you need to do is have communication communication is key 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 number one thing is communication communication is the number one key don't you think why is communication or what about communication um it keeps both uh individual informed you know on their daily life and uh it causes not it causes for someone not to hold things in especially like if it's bothering them or you know so you always want to make a room to where someone can come and talk to you because if if you don't then you know there's not going to be any communication and then you yourself who's not creating that room will wonder you know why there's no communication so so basically be open yeah to somebody com coming to tell you how they feel yeah. um both of you should be open to that and also you want to also make sure that you are voicing your opinion on certain things if you don't like something or something's not making you happy you need to voice it no matter if you think it's gonna bother the other person or not mm -hmm. um you want to be honest and what you want to say and things like that mm -hmm. so you guys need to really communicate when something is bothering you never have anything bottled up because when you have things bottled up, one point you're going to explode, explode and then it's not going to be a good thing. So just remember to always communicate with the person that you are with, especially if you're wanting the relationship to go far. So yeah, communication is very key. If you guys have more, if you guys want, we're just kind of just saying some tips and like giving you advice. If you guys want like some detailed advice and you guys have certain questions and you want us to do another video, then we can do that for you. You just need to leave the questions down below. The second thing is... You need to be able to deal with change. Changes. Especially if you're starting out in a younger relationship like we did, basically mm -hmm. like um, high, school high school sweethearts. If you're starting out in a you know younger relationship and you feel like both of you are going to go far, or get married or whatever, stay together forever for a long time, you want to make sure that you are adaptable basically to the other person's changes because both of you are going to change honestly because you're not going to be the same person from you when you were 16 to when you're basically well i'm 25 so there are going to be changes and that's another reason why you need to communicate exactly so yeah anything you want to say about that uh or i said it all you said it all but changes you just a lot a lot of times when you're in a relationship you don't see it you don't really see the other person changes but it's more when you know that person start to you know just 
start setting goals or want to do something for themselves you know not because you don't think it's good or not because you you're not down with whatever they're doing you know it's always good to like encourage them and you know motivate it's, them or it's even their changes, join them you know because it can help better you too at the same time exactly so yeah only if it's good changes don't if it's if yeah. you see them going down the bad like a bad road or street kind of might want to mm -hmm. tell them to turn left the third thing is romance. You want to keep it like spicy. Exactly. Um, you want to make sure that you guys are like going out on dates or like spending um, time with each other. Um, now I wouldn't say spend. You don't want to spend every day together, like every yeah. second of the day together, because then you're gonna drive each other nuts, and it's gonna push you guys apart. Trust me, we have experience. <laughs> We've experienced that don't hang make sure you have your own friends i mean you guys can have mutual friends but make sure you have yeah. your core friends that you hang out with and you guys have separate things that you do differently you know he has his thing that he does and i have my thing that i do that takes up some of our time so we're not always together but when we are but we also make sure that we make time for each other like we go to movies we go go karting beaches we go in to the beach morning. in the morning early like yeah. seven in the morning see the sunrise we go to church together we might take like mini like um hotel mini trips mini vacations little trips you know so you guys want to make sure that you keep the romance um yeah keep it live keep it lit and it don't have to be anything big because i know i'm not a yeah mark's I'm not, not a, i'm not a big like poet mark romance like i'm i'm not gonna <laughs> Come sit here and go on my knees and you know read out a full poem or stuff like that. <laughs> Mark's not romantic, nah. but you know he'll surprise me a little like with some flowers or like a yeah. gift here and there, or he'll be like, let's just go to the movies. Uh, so somewhere. yeah, so yeah, make sure you guys do that. It's key. So that's three tips. Yeah, so it's just it's it's a it's a lot, but it's it's like another job, honestly, being in a relationship. But you have to have patience. And you can't just leave when things get tough and you have to work. You have to fight. Learned that in church today. You gotta fight. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's about it. If you guys want us to answer any other question or... If you, you guys want any other advice and stuff like that, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments and we can do another video. Or if you guys want to see us do any other boyfriend type girlfriend videos um i think i'm gonna do his makeup so what what so i think that's gonna be a video thumbs up this video if this video gets to 25 likes i will do his makeup don't you want to see his face get beat like this hey. like what what is that beat when you beat your face that means you slayed your face okay i, I don't know those terms <laughs> I don't want my face to be beat. <laughs> okay. Like it the way it is. Okay, so um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out my boyfriend does my voiceover. That video should be already up. It'll be at the end of this video. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much. What? Yeah, this is gonna go up after. It's blinking. I think I'm running out of space. So, anyways, that is the end of our video. Go ahead and check out the boyfriend does my face. <laughs> The boyfriend does my voiceover video. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen. Also, check out his channel. His face will be somewhere on the screen that you can click. His social media will also be down below. Also, mine will be down below. Go ahead and follow me on social media and check me out on live.me app. It's a live app. I go on there every day and I live stream and it's so fun. Valley Gang Gang. You don't know what that is, so you need to go check it out so you can find <laughs> out. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. We close to 1,000, y'all. Make sure you subscribe. Mwah, mwah. Bye. Deuces. <laughs>